I want all the doctors rounded up. Search every inch of the medical building. I mean it. Search every room, every office, and every trash can. If another doctor tries to run out of the building, then you won't. I'll just flood the rooms with happy gas and leave you to die. Hell, I may do that anyway. Sounds fun. Down there with the others. Move it. Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm going. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. What is this? It looks more like a torture room. Room's clear. You're safe now. Over here. Batman.
over here. Another one of the easy ones. Don't feel too bad. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. I'm here, Mike. Hold still. I'll get you free. You okay? We're safe. Batman saved us.
Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I've yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest at school. A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, you must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! I swore I didn't, and he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right.